you, you deserve a drink. I'm Mamrie Hart. And who do I think most deserves a drink this week? Well, it's the knick-knack paddywhack give this girl a bone, Zac Efron, everybody. Zac is in a new movie called Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. And you know what, I actually checked that out last week. I went to a morning screening because I hate being around other people, and it was really funny. But the thing that stood out most about the movie was, holy fuck, his body. I would like to. What happened since High School Musical? He looks <laughs> CGI. He must have been hitting the gym pretty damn hard to get in shape for this Hawaii movie, so I think he deserves a drink. Which is why today we're gonna make a Zac Efron smoking hot bod. The movie Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates is actually based on a true story which two guys wrote a book about. Oh no, I said the B word. Oh hi, you know what time it is. It's that time where I, a very white woman, do a rap trying to encourage you to download audible.com. Hey you, do you hate reading? You'd rather spend your time doing fun shit like eating? Well, whatever the case, I'm here to urge and encourage to give Audible a taste. Someone call a lawyer cause I'm serving you a trial. 30 days free from me to make you smile. This is the end of this really dumb rap. Bye! For this drink, all you're gonna need is Cuantro, pineapple juice, ancho chili liqueur, an añejo tequila, and a smoking gun. I'm nervous. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but Zach actually claims that he was not popular when he was growing up. He says that he was a square, which makes sense because he has all right angles. That's a math joke! This is very dangerous. First thing I'm going to do to a shaker full of ice or a mason jar, whatever, is I'm gonna add a buttload of tequila. Um, I myself am very hungover today, so <laughs> this is a perfect liquor to use in the drink. Here goes nothing. Little known Zach fact, in 2012, Zach got YOLO tattooed on the inside of his finger, but then, you know, later got it removed, because who the hell would get a tattoo on the inside of their finger? That'd be fucking dumb. Then I'm gonna add like a two count of Cointreau. Oh my God, I am too hungover to smell this. Boot, scoot, and boogie. Next, I'm gonna add a little ancho liqueur. I have not used this yet, and I'm kind of nervous that it's gonna be super spicy. Should I go for it? Oh! Ancho, glad that I did that and not you. Let's add like a one count of that. Ooh, spice it up, bitch. Prior to Mike and Dave new wedding dates, the last time I saw Zach in a theater was that awkward moment when I got asked to leave for masturbating. <laughs> then I'm gonna top it with pineapple juice. Gorgeous. Shake it up. Put on your 3D glasses. Do you guys remember when Zach caused quite a stir because he dropped a condom on the red carpet? <laughs> I've got a red carpet you can drop a condom on, Zach. I'll be your lucky one. We can wake the neighbors. I'll make you feel 17 again. No, I won't. That's not legal. Now basically, you've got yourself a delicious, spicy, smoking hot bod jargarita, but we're not fucking stopping there. Uh-uh. I don't stop till I get enough. Except last night when I just kept going and never stopped. Check out this cutest shit thing. Oh, not my body. The thing I'm about to get from the fridge. Mamrie, it's a pineapple. Big whoop. No, bitch. It's a fucking cup. I took a pineapple and I carved the hell out of it. I whittled this thing down to a tiki glass. Goddamn Pinterest, you guys. I'm gonna put my margarita in here. Zach has said in his free time he really enjoys skiing, which, I mean, it's perfect because I'd love to show you my slopes. I'll grab your ski pole and show you my black diamond. Just kidding, I totally have a white vagina. Well, it's pink, technically, but you know what I mean. And now, I'm gonna smoke it. What? I have this smoking gun, which you use for like food and cocktails, etc. And I'm gonna fill it with, what are these? Apple wood chips. I have never used this before. You know how I am with fire. It's never a good combo. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, do I have a sprinkler system? No, I cut a little slit right here that the whole of the thing will, fuck, I'm screwed. Then I'm gonna light one of my overpriced matchsticks because, hey, burn that money. Burn it down. Says you light the chips, 
till they start to glow. Starting to glow? Oh, fuck me. Nothing's happening? All right, we'll try another match. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come the fuck on. What the fuck? Do I need to read the directions? Okay. Oh, I have to turn it on. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy fuck! Okay, I'm gonna stick that in the hole, and I'm gonna smoke this margarita. I am like a fucking Cheech and Chong movie in here. I'm gonna give it a sip. Ready? Cheers! Hey, Zac Efron smoking hot pot. The fact that I am this hungover and this makes me want to take another sip speaks volumes. Speaking of volume, Zac Efron's hair has really been crushing it these days. So much better than the high school news, you know? Hey, if you're looking for a fun date for a wedding, I'll tell you who you can bring. Anyone but me, because I get very emotional weddings. I have more tears than the wedding cake. Unless it's a very simple wedding. And people are into pies? for weddings these days, which I don't understand. I don't want a fucking pie at a wedding, okay? Give me some goddamn cake. Thank you for watching You Deserve a Drink. Again, I'm Mae Ray Hart. And remember, the best part about Why Dad is the built-in drinking game. So make your delicious Zac Efron smoking hot bod, rewatch this, and drink every time I make a terrible Zac Efron pun. Now I'm off to call the fire department, perhaps? Le that was a legit drive. That was real. Look, Zach is very handsome and everything, but all jokes aside, I want to have sex with him. Sorry. It's true what they say, guys. Once you go Zach, you never go back. Because you might call him Zach Efron, but I call him Zach F me, please. Just, you know, pick up your handphone. Tap your assistant on the shoulder. Tell her to look up my number. Get in touch, bro. Get in very deep touch. Touch it. Dirty grandpa.